Karen I'm with the group division out of San Antonio, Texas, said I'm here today to explain to you how the HSA account works. HSA is the acronym for Health Savings Account and it was made available in the year 2004. Uh, defined, it is a tax exempt trust or custodial account created exclusively to pay for the qualified uh, medical expenses of the account holder, their spouse, and their dependents. Our goal today is to give you the basic understanding of the Health Savings Account. To really understand how it works, we need to take a look at a traditional PPO health plan. The PPO health plan are generally driven by the deductibles. As you can see, this deductible here, we start at the thousand. We go all the way up to 1,500, 2,000, 2,500, 5,000, and 10,000. Now, let's take a look at this family right here, male age 33, female 27 with two kids. Their total premium being $407 a month for the thousand dollar deductible. And then you look down the road here and you see $175 for a $10,000 deductible. Now we're going to focus on the $5,000 deductible because that falls within the parameters of the HSA. So you can see the savings here, $407 versus $243. Now we get down to the drug copay and the physician copay. Uh, the drug copay costs this family $88 uh, a month, and then the doctor visit copay costs them $138 a month. Now when you calculate that out, that comes to $226 monthly benefit or $2,712 in annual premium just for this benefit of the drug card and the physician copay. Now when you look back five years, and this is one of the things that you do want to do, is take a look back five years and ask yourself, did I pay $13,560 in drug card and physician visits? Uh, most people don't. And then you have to ask your, yourself the question, would I rather put this money in a savings account that I can keep or would I rather pay it to an insurance company uh, in premium dollars? Remember that these costs are static. They don't change. You're paying a lot of money just to have the copay option and we haven't factored in how much your copay is that you pay each time you go to the physician. So let's take a look at the high deductible health plan. And you'll hear that referred to as HDHP. Now what that does is it combines your prescription drug card, your physician office visit, and your hospital all into one. These options are put together. They're all subject to the deductible. So literally what that means is the physician or drug card are eliminated. And this is one of the things that keeps the cost down on your high deductible health plan. Qualifying for the health savings account, qualification, you must have the high deductible health plan that meets the IRS mandates. And the high deductible plan can be either a group plan or it can be purchased by an individual. The HSA account is the vehicle where you're authorized to park your tax dollars in a tax deferred account to pay for the medical expenses that you're going to incur in the future. Remember, the $2,712 savings, yours may be a little bit more, it may be a little bit less uh, when you calculate out the figures, but it is going to be substantial. This money is going into a savings account instead of being paid to the insurance company. And you need to consider what's going to be best for your family. Always it's a good idea to put a pencil to this. Let's take a look at the basics. Remember the deductible in hospital outpatient physical uh, physician visits and prescription drug card? They're going to be normally lumped into a deductible and most of the plans are designed to pay 100% after that deductible has been met. The plan deductibles for the individual for 2012, the minimum is $1,200, the maximum is $6,250, and the plan deductible for the families 2012, minimum $2,400 and $11,900. We always recommend that you go with a higher deductible because what that does is it saves you premium dollars that can be transferred into the HSA account. So working within the rules and the plan design, the health plan deductible, the minimum is $1,200 for the individuals, $2,400 for the family, and the health plan out-of-pocket deductible plus the cost sharing. And this is one of the things a lot of the insurance companies are doing today is they're switching the deductibles around a little bit and using the maximums in cost sharing. So you're going to see different plan designs. So the maximum is $6,250 for the individual, uh, total and per 11,900 family. Now these are the maximums that you can have for the 2012. Now the deposits have changed a little bit because of section 303. This act repeals the deductible limit on a annual deposits. Uh, in the old days when this plan first came out if you had a $3,000 deductible 
and your limit was uh, greater than your deductible, you could not put more money in than what your deductible was. Now you can have a $1,200 deductible and you can put in the full $6,250 as an individual and it at uh, $12,100 for the family. Also what they do is they have a caveat here if you're over age 55 they have a catch-up provision that will allow you to put as much as $1,000 additional money into your HSA account. People ask, I'm on Medicare and I just turned age 65, am I eligible for an HSA? Well the answer to that is if you're an employee covered by a group health plan with a, a high deductible and you're making deposits as the beneficiary, you can continue on that plan. Being eligible for Medicare doesn't disqualify you. But if you do enroll in Medicare, that does disqualify you. Simply put, as soon as you enroll in Part A and B, uh, you're no longer eligible for an HSA account. A lot of people want to know, well, what is covered by the account? What can I use that money for? It's, uh, you can see there's a lot of things that are covered. There's a lot of things that are covered that are not covered by your health insurance. Uh, one is eye examinations. If you go to the optometrist, those eye examinations are paid for. Your glasses can be paid for out of the account. If you need some uh, dental work done and you don't have dental insurance, you can pay for your dental out of this HSA account. It's pretty much endless. Uh, the IRS doesn't track this per se. Uh, you need to be as honest as you possibly can, uh, but there is a wide array of expenses that uh, do qualify. In summary, the health savings account deposits can be used for most of the medical expenses, including dental, vision, and many other expenses not covered by your health plan. And you can also use the HSA funds for long-term care if you need. Uh, COBRA, if you lose your job and you don't have the money to pay for your COBRA, you can take the money out of your HSA account and keep your uh, policy in force. And then premiums for health insurance while you're receiving unemployment, you can use this HSA money for that. And then certain Medicare premiums after you reach the age of uh, age 65. And the high deductible health plan with a health savings account should leave you after five years with money in your savings account. This is uh, it's a good option for you if you don't go to the doctor very often and you want to put some money in the savings account instead of sending it into an insurance company. Thank you. Have a good day.